Today we are going to learn about increasing and decreasing curves. A curve is said to be strictly increasing when dy by dx is greater than zero. This is because when dy by dx is greater than zero, tangents will slope upwards from left to right since their gradients are positive. This means the curve is also moving upwards and is strictly increasing. Similarly, a curve is said to be strictly decreasing when dy by dx is less than zero. Below is a diagram to illustrate this. Example 1. A curve has equation y equals 4x squared plus 2 over root x. Determine whether the curve is increasing or decreasing at x equals 10. First of all, we need to prepare the curve's equation in order to differentiate. So root x can be rewritten as x to the power of a half and then bringing it up from the bottom of the fraction to beside the number 2 will give us x to the power minus 1 half. Differentiating this function, dy by dx equals 8x take away negative a half times 2 will give us negative 1x and then negative a half take away 1 will be negative 3 over 2. So derivative is 8x subtract x to the power minus 3 over 2. We'll then rearrange this so that we have no negative powers and we also change back to third form. So x to the power minus 3 over 2 can be written as 1 over root x cubed. We now need to investigate what's happening when x is 10. So when x is 10, our derivative is 8 times 10. Subtract 1 over root 10 cubed. This will give 80. Subtract 0 0.03162277, which will give a positive answer. So dy by dx is greater than 0. If dy by dx is greater than 0, this means the curve is increasing at x equals 10. Example 2. Show that the curve y equals 1 third x cubed plus x squared plus x minus 4 is never decreasing. So differentiating initially, dy by dx equals 3 times a third will give us 1 x squared. x squared will differentiate to 2x and plus 1x will differentiate to the number 1 and negative 4 will go to 0. So our derivative is x squared plus 2x plus 1. Now we need to factorise in order to find out what is happening with um, the curve. Do I have a dx can factorise to give x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1? We therefore have a perfect square, so it's x plus 1 all squared. So therefore, dy by dx will be greater than or equal to 0. When we square any number, it will always be positive. Therefore, since dy by dx is greater than or equal to 0, the derivative is never less than 0, because squaring will always be positive, and the curve is never decreasing. Now try these examples on your own. Please pause the video. The answers. A. Since f dash of minus 2 is greater than 0, fx is increasing at x equals minus 2. And B. As f dash to x equals 3, x minus 1 all squared, that will always be greater than or equal to 0. fx is always positive and therefore is never decreasing. Please self-assess your progress. If you would like some extra practice, try page 104, exercise 6L, questions 1 and 2. What have we learned today? We've looked at increasing and decreasing curves. 
the key steps, differentiate the curve's equation, substitute in the x-coordinate into the curve's equation to find out if it's increasing or decreasing, or we factorise, and then we make a statement about our findings.